Welcome back, everyone. What a wild finish we just witnessed. The Kansas City Chiefs defeating the Las Vegas Raiders 19-17. Kansas City improves to 11-1 and officially clinches a playoff spot, marking their seventh consecutive season with at least 11 wins. But this one? It ended in one of the strangest ways you'll see. Absolutely, Joe. Just when we think Kansas City has faced every hurdle imaginable this year, they come away with another win. Let's dive deeper into that final play. When that ball was snapped, I immediately thought, false start, no play. Right, and you feel for the Raiders. They fought hard, moving the ball effectively from deep in their own territory into field goal range. Unfortunately, Daniel Carlson, who struggled this season, wasn't able to deliver. The Raiders managed to outplay the Chiefs for a significant part of this game. From a Raiders fan's perspective, it's been a tough stretch. They've now lost eight straight games. They're leading the league in turnovers and turnover differential, and that isn't a recipe for success. Exactly. Las Vegas did a lot of things well, but those mistakes really hold them back. The Chiefs, on the other hand, seem to be getting by. They could have lost against the Panthers last week and nearly lost to the Broncos the week before that. They're playing on a razor's edge, and that won't work as we head into January. That's right. Looking at Kansas City, while they're a playoff team, they need to find a way to win convincingly. This was not a dominant performance. They need to establish a reliable run game. Running backs only had 14 carries in this game, and that's concerning. It will be pivotal to see how they approach upcoming games against the Chargers, Browns, Steelers, and Broncos. Emery, do you think a multi-possession victory is necessary to feel confident about Kansas City going into the postseason? Without a doubt. The pass rush also needs attention. They rely heavily on Chris Jones, and while gang tackles happen, they need a consistent second threat on that defensive line. If they want to make a deep postseason run, that depth is essential. Speaking of records, Kansas City now holds the record for the most wins by seven or fewer points through 12 games in NFL history, with nine of their 11 victories coming in such a narrow fashion. That suggests some struggles in finishing games. Absolutely, Ryan. And while we have to give credit to Patrick Mahomes, because he's been the steady force for this team, they have to tighten up some of these weaknesses. And let's not forget about their passing defense. Aidan O'Connell was moving the ball down the field with ease in critical moments. The Chiefs need to fix that going forward. Kansas City needs to be aware of teams like the Bills and Ravens, who have been winning games decisively. If the Chiefs keep playing these close games, it may come back to haunt them when it matters most. And as we noted, while the Chiefs may not be dominating like they have in past seasons, they are winning. Winning is key, especially at this time of year. You can bet they're targeting that third consecutive title, something no other team has accomplished. Patrick Mahomes continues to redefine the quarterback position and he's now set the record for the most career-passing touchdowns in Chiefs history. He also had over 300 passing yards in this game. Fantastic to see his performance on such a big stage.